My head is so hot, it's actually hard to concentrate. Hey guys, hey gut feelers. So we are in the sauna. It's a little bit edgy to film in the sauna, but I hope I don't have any other naked people on the video. I'd love to share a few tips with you what I'm doing. So if I'm living in a country that is not bikini temperature, if it's a colder country, I go once per week to the sauna. It's not just awesome for boosting your immune system, it's also great for detoxifying your body because the largest organ inside the body is the liver to help detoxify the body. And what's the largest organ in general to detoxify the body? The skin. That's why going to the sauna is actually helping you to detoxify. Even things like toxic heavy metals you can actually get out of your skin. Apart from boosting your immune system, you actually detoxify your body the best way. Now, I've got a few tips for you, what I'm doing before I go to the sauna, what I do in the sauna and afterwards. One hour before I go to the sauna, what's really important for you is that you go in there hydrated. I mean like really hydrated, not just drinking water, because water is different from fruit water. As fruit water is combined with so many different nutrient components, vitamins and minerals and phytochemicals, it actually helps your body to hydrate the skin on a deeper level. Today I had four cucumbers juiced, which was one liter of cucumber juice, but you can also do carrot juice with apple, or of course my classical, if you go in the morning, you can do the celery juice. Make sure one hour before you go to the sauna, you have enough good high quality water in you and then make it a habit. Don't eat before the sauna. So actually my digestion is pretty calm. I have a really nice meal already half prepared when I go back because then I'm really hungry and that's going to be my reward for going to the sauna. What I'm doing usually when I go into the sauna, I lie flat down. I can't demonstrate that right now because then my towel would fall. So I lie completely horizontal. Yeah, they have these things for the head, but I actually don't like that. I also sleep without pillow. How often do I go? I usually go like once or twice. I'm not like this hardcore sauna person because afterwards I'm just exhausted. I want to be more energized. I like when it's getting really hot, but I'm not gonna suffer. I trust my gut feelings. Once you come out of the sauna, here is what you don't want to do. You don't want to take a cold shower first. You always want to shower warm before you go into the cold bath or whatever you do, ice cold water. First warm water and then you go into the cold water because as soon as the cold water hits your skin, your pores will close. So no way to flush out the toxins. So first warm and then you go for cold. Another thing that's really important then if you go in to this pool which we, look at that in this cold water pool or in any kind of swimming pool after the sauna make sure you shower again afterwards because there are so many toxins chemicals chlorine all kind of stuff in there that you don't want to leave on your skin when you leave done with the sauna I'm gonna have my uh, it's probably like half a liter of water and then it's gonna be a bike ride home and then in like 45 minutes I'm gonna have my food and I'm gonna enjoy a little bit more the beautiful sky here I hope this was interesting for you. A little bit more about my daily life. What am I doing? What are my healthy habits? If you like this video, happy if you want to share it. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other video requests, anything I could do better. I'm really interested in your feedback because I'm making these videos for you gut feelers out there. I see you in the next video. Bye bye.